It's one thing to start a new job, but as a coach, you're evaluating players, staff, a city, and organization. So what were some of the factors you saw that made you think the Texas Stars could be a good fit and a good opportunity for you? Well, you know what? There was a real good comfort feeling for me, um, um, you know, with the Dallas Stars, as the Stars organization. You know, uh, uh, years and years ago when I was a player, I was uh, – part of the Detroit Red Wing organization. I remember Jim Mill was part of that organization. and um, I just remember everybody saying what a what a great man. And, uh, you know, everybody that talks to Jim Mill just loves him. So I, I, I was like, this is the guy that's running the hockey operations. I've known Les Jackson for years and years. Being a, a coach in the OHL, he's always been around. He's a very well-respected man. Joe McDonnell. The guy with the Dallas Stars organization I was a coach in the OHL for years and years. I've known Joe for probably 20 years. Um, obviously, then Jim Bedard, I've known Jimmy for 20 some years. And then when you see when I met Derek and, and Scott for the first time, you get to see it's just quality people. And uh, anytime you can be involved with quality people, um, that's something that really you know enticed me to be trying to be part of this Dallas Stars, Stars organization. Um, you know, and as far as philosophies and stuff, you want to tag on the people that have winning, uh, winning pedigree. In the Dallas Stars, you can see they do things right. And obviously, Derek uh, uh, and Carl Lash are making it to the finals. Um, it's a tremendous accomplishment. Game seven can go anyway, and they lost in the finals. But uh, anytime, like I said, I could be grabbing a, uh, grab a piece of a uh, uh, you know, team that is you know, like that, um, I wanted to jump on. At the AHL level, there's always a good chunk of turnover on the roster. So what exactly do you know about this roster, despite those annual changes you normally see in players turning over? You know what? I, I don't know a lot about it right now. They're having a conference call um, on the 15th. I believe that's the next Wednesday. Um, so, you know, me and Lax have discussed uh, the, the blue line and, uh, you know, the, some of the personnel up front. Um, but we haven't gone really into the depth, uh, to be honest. I think we're going to discuss that more on, on Wednesday. So, um, you know, I, I don't know if I really want to say too much about uh, the personnel because I don't really, I just don't really know. Carl Taylor, he managed the blue line and the penalty kill while he was the assistant coach here. Now, are you going to fill that same role? Yeah, I think uh, I, I think um, once Lax uh, sits down with me and that, we've discussed that, you know, I, I've coached defense for years and years. You know, so I've had great success with a lot of NHL players. Very comfortable with teaching that position. I played defense as a player. Uh, and you know what? Uh, we we haven't sorted out exactly that I would take the PK, but I think we're leaning towards that, yes.